हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल स्टेप कैंपस सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टूटोरियल ऑफ सेलेनियम विद जावा ओके सो वाट इज़ द पर्पज ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो वी एज वी ऑल नो टी सी एस एंड लॉन्च देयर कोर्सेज दैट इज़ टी ट्वेल्व कोर्सेज ओके फॉर द पार्ट ऑफ विंग्स वन सो फ्राम अपकमिंग नवंबर साइकिल दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अ न्यू कोर्सेज ऑफ टी ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो in which they are going to ask about the automation testing concepts okay so this exam will be like two stages the first stage is mcq questions and then second stages stages will be hands on okay so to grab this information to grab the concept we required a learning path so i uh, with the help of this tutorial i am going to deliver uh, the learning path for this t12 courses okay so it will be strictly based on the tcs uh, uh, pattern only okay t12 courses pattern only so they have introduced three main courses inside this t12 courses okay the first one is selenium second one is night watch and third one is cucumber framework okay so night watch already i have uh, i have a playlist in this channel you can go and search night watch tcs or you can type night watch tutorial tcs then you are going to see our video only okay not only means you are going to see our video at the top okay so in that video i have mentioned all the information about the night watch and we have done some practical as well okay so among these three you can choose any one course okay so night watch already uh, playlist uh, is there now i am going to make a playlist on selenium with java okay selenium with python is also a, a one domain but in this video in this tutorial we are going to talk about only selenium with java program okay so let's see first dependencies okay so what is the requirement we uh, we have so that we can complete uh, complete this tutorial so first we will gather all the information all the requirement in our machine and then from this class 1 we can start our selenium with java so this we this is a class 0 okay this will be a introduction lesson only and in this lesson only we will install our requirements okay so that we can use this requirement in our upcoming lectures for practicing okay so see the requirement so course requirement will be two things here the first one is eclipse which will be an ide already uh, i told you in night watch tutorials the id is required for writing a code okay writing a code in easy and efficient manner so id will be required so this time also i am using eclipse okay second one is java so as we know the programming language required with selenium to do the automation so i am picking up java okay so let's go to the requirement link first okay so i have gather all the requirement list here okay so what we require first we require this eclipse second we require this java and third we require some more dependency which we are going to see in this lecture only but in upcoming uh, time so it, we will see in later okay in this video only but after some time okay so first download this eclipse so i have given the direct link uh, i will give this link as well in the description box so that you won't face any issue you have to click just this link and then you are going to see these things eclipse id for java developers so you have to click on this window as per your machine but i am going to talk or teach uh, regarding uh, this uh, this selenium uh, but in our machine only window machine only okay so you have to like you have to uh, download like you can download anywhere you can download any uh, for any uh, environment but i am going to talk about the windows okay okay so you can click on this one then you will download the eclipse and once you download the eclipse so you will get uh, eclipse.exe applications there okay so you have to click on this so first thing this one now what we have to do the next so go again to the requirement page and then in this page this is a java link you have to copy this one again go to your browser and click on this as well okay yeah sorry yeah so you will be landed on this page and in this page this is a oracle site okay oracle site so here we can see it will show you what is the latest java okay so you can see like java jdk 21 okay 
JDK twenty one is the uh, latest long term support release of Java SE platform. Okay, so you have to click on this JDK twenty one and based on your machine you can download for me it's a window so that's why I'm going to download this x64 installer from here okay so once you click here the downloader will automatically will start okay once you complete your download then what you have to do so now we will see these things this is very interesting you have to see this thing and this is also very requirement okay so once you did this step then you are able to see the next lecture okay and then you can uh, perform testing as well okay so let's go to the okay so let's go to the system i'm minimizing it uh, okay so you have to go to the java folder like once you uh, install the java na, so you will see this java will be installed in c drive and inside c drive there are a program files folder you have to click this program files and you can see this java for me it's jdk20 but for you it's jdk21 okay so no need to worry about that version just click on this one so first what we will do we have to click till jdk20 okay and then we have to copy this path okay once you copy this path then what you have to do you have to go to your home button and then you have to write edit when you write this edit now so you are going to see this one edit the system environment variable and go to this environment variable okay and in this system variable okay you have to click on create and then you have to give name java home uh, just gives in caps lock only java underscore home and then you have to paste this link for me it's already there that's why i am not adding it again okay you can see here okay sorry i uh, we have to get the complete path sorry my bad mm, you have to go again there uh, not there uh, in this one and then you have to click this jdk20 okay now you have to copy copy the full path till jdk20 come to the edit variables and then you can give your file path here okay so this is already for me so i am not install it uh, not clicking on ok i am just clicking cancel you can click ok for for you okay now first requirement is okay now second one second one you we have to scroll in this system variable only and we have we can see here path okay not path uh, this one ex, uh, ext not this simple path okay so in this simple path what you have to do you have to click on new no not new sorry we have to click on edit okay and then uh, here we have to click new now go to that uh, folder again now just click on this bin okay now copy the path okay and again come back to this environment variable uh, new and just paste the value for me also you can see it's already installed in my system so i am not installing it again so that's why i am making it cancel but for you you have to click on ok so i am cancelling it i am cancelling it just cancel it okay for you ok 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 you have to uh, click three times now now what to do now we will come to the command prompt okay just write cmd and you will end up in the command prompt just see like java has success successfully installed or not in your machine so for this one we have to write java okay not in caps okay java space hyphen hyphen version and then click so you can see for me it's java 20.0.2 okay so this is a version for you it might be 21 point some version so no need to worry about these things okay now what we have to do so this part is okay now we have already downloaded the eclipse and once you click dot uh, eclipse dot exe application now, so you will come to this page okay uh, you have to select your uh, workspace and all so that uh, once you download it now so you automatically understand what we have to click only you have to click next next and finish okay so we'll you will come to this page now here uh, for you uh, for me is showing two to three projects but for you it uh, it won't be any project there okay so what we have to do now we have to go to this file we have to click on this new and then we have we have to create one project so just create a java project for this time okay and give project name as selenium hyphen introduction okay selenium hyphen introduction and please make sure like this box is unchecked only okay this no need to be checked okay we are not creating any module so this should not be any check this should be a blank only and okay this new project must be selenium introduction 
the name of new program will be selenium introduction okay you just give some different name maybe this name is already present in my system that's why i'm getting this one no problem what we will do now uh, we will create a selenium underscore intro okay selenium underscore intro we will create and just click on finish button okay so you can see this selenium intro is there right so what you have to do you have to click on this right you have to go to configure and for me it's already created now that's why uh, here i i'm not getting any option of creating create a uh, mbm okay let's do once again what i will i will delete this one okay let me delete this thing okay uh, file new java project just give let, let me give some no, new project name selenium basic okay i am cre uh, creating this one selenium underscore basic yeah make sure this should be unchecked and click on next then this should be there and then click finish okay now what you have to do you have to click on right click you have to go to configure and then you have to convert it to a maven project why maven project now because as of now we have only installed selenium uh, we have only installed uh, eclipse and java but there is no any sign of selenium right but we are using selenium so we require selenium tools as well in our ide right so what maven will do now so maven project will create one uh, pom.xml file okay let me create so that i you can understand very easily so you have to click on convert to maven okay maven project uh, project name is selenium basic only artifacts uh, group id you have to write uh, so group for id i am writing step campus and artifact id i am just writing selenium basic okay for age of now just click on finish okay so you can see here so we are getting pom.xml file okay inside this selenium basic so what this pom.xml will do now so this pom.xml file will gather all the dependencies related to the selenium or whatever we required okay into one file so we no need to download selenium different uh, from the different source and all okay so this this will be enough okay so let's go to our browser okay and in this browser uh, let's type mvn okay for you i already gather this information also so just copy this link i will give all this link to into a description box so that it won't be hectic for you to download all these things okay just click on this uh, enter okay now you will come to this mbm repository okay so the developer are uh, creating their uh, repository and uh, their code and uh, pasting all these things into this common repository okay so what we have to do now we have to type selenium java just click enter you will going to get this one selenium java first one okay so just click on this one and the latest version you will uh, get on the top only so you have to click on this and you can see this is a dependency you can see this group id artifact id which we have just created now for the maven project so how we have created a project so developers also have created their project with the name of the selenium java and they given their code okay so that we can use that code class for making our work easy that's why we have created this in a maven project okay hope you got this answer now copy this one so just click there it already copied now what we have to do we have to go to this maven one okay now in the maven uh, we have to paste this dependency okay you can see here it's a dependency it's a dependency okay it's a dependency so we have to put this dependency in our pom.xml so where to put okay so you can see this version okay so after version we have to put this dependency okay so just paste it okay see this is dependency okay this is dependency but this dep dependency like we are going to uh, create many dependency okay so we will create one tag as dependencies okay dependencies okay you can see a suggestion just click on this one and inside this dependency dependencies just write this dependency okay and then save it you can see the error has gone now 
सो दिस डिपेंडेंसी टैग विल बी इन साइड दिस डिपेंडेंसी आफ्टर दिस वर्जन ओके आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग इट क्लियर मोड बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ओके यू हैव टू गेट ऑल दिस थिंग्स वेरी इजली नाउ नाउ गो टू अगेन दिस एम बी एम बी पी एन एंड देन राइट टेस्ट एन जी टेस्ट एन जी वी ऑल्सो वी रिक्वायर वी विल सी वाट टू वी हैव टू हाउ वी आर यूजिंग दिस टेस्ट एन जी एंड लेटर सेक्शन बट या एज ऑफ नाउ जस्ट टाइप टेस्ट एन जी ओके देर शुड नॉट बी एनी स्पेस बिटवीन टेस्ट एन एन जी ओके जस्ट मेक श्योर एंड क्लिक ऑन दिस फर्स्ट लिंक दिस टेस्ट एन जी अगेन सेम फॉर दिस वन द लेटेस्ट वर्जन विल कम एट द टॉप क्लिक देयर एंड देन कॉपी दिस वन ओके सो वंस यू कॉपी देन अगेन बैक टू द फॉर्म एक्स एम एल एंड देन पेस्ट इट इन साइड दिस डिपेंडेंसीज ओके पेस्ट इट ऑल्सो ओके सो दिस टेस्ट एज ऑफ नाउ यू कैन मेक एज अ कमेंट सो इन इन एक्स एम एल लाइक वी आर राइटिंग लाइक कमेंट लाइक दिस ओके दिस प्रेकेट एंड दिस सॉरी माई बैड ओके so we have to remove this one so just make sure it it will be a comment only yeah you can see this is a comment link just click on double click on this one and make it comment okay now save it and this pom dot xml is uh, created successfully okay now you can go to your project back project this is selene basic so now from the upcoming lecture we will start our first uh, first lecture that is class 1 where we are going to see how to invoke a browser because the selenium is basically a web testing so we have to invoke a browser and do our further testing there okay so now guys i understand like uh, this is a first lecture and you are uh, getting this technical knowledge but yeah this is a very important part that's why i have to make this video okay but yeah please uh, install all this requirement from here so that we can start from the new lecture okay and subscribe to my channel if you find this things very uh, like if it is very need for you and you are thinking like this should help you then subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next lecture guys so till now bye bye and happy learning.